Hey, what's going on guys? I know it's been about a month since we last spoke and I was traveling in Colorado. The last shoot that I was on, I was unable to keep swapping my camera back and forth so I could get uh, the photos and then get the footage that I needed. So I just had to kind of quit, you know, just do the shoot. We were running out of light, so, you know, I had to make that kind of decision to, to keep things rolling there and, and not lose the light. I think this is where I left you off. So we'll jump into uh, when I was in Colorado. Uh, you can watch the footage. I'm sorry if there's any kind of weird jumpy parts. Hope you can forgive me, but here is that, that video and uh, we'll move on. So here it is. What's up guys? So today we're headed about three hours, I think, up into the mountains. I'm going to try my best to record all that I can, but I'm also going to be driving, so I'm going to keep it safe and uh, not vlog as much. However, if I can find some pull-off points, I might just pull off and do some uh, B-roll for you because I think it's going to be pretty cool today. I forget the altitude we're headed up to, but it's going to be kind of high. Uh, it's in a beautiful little, little town uh, up on top of the mountaintops of Colorado. So first though, we gotta go get some gas and we gotta clean off this windshield. The windshield's kinda gross. And yeah, I wanna be able to see today. Let's go do that and then we gotta get on the road and uh, then we're gonna get to a photo shoot and some time lapses. All right, let's get going. went through our first mountain pass. We're about a third of the way there. So let's keep a roll on. I just want to stop and get a few shots of the mountains because they look awesome. Those peaks over there behind me, they're, uh, they're getting smaller. It means we're getting quite high. This area is just beautiful. It's pretty crazy to think that I saw these peaks like super far away and now they're like, they look like smaller hills now. Wow. Anyways, um, I also stopped at the gas station, picked up some gum and you know, a drink and whatever. And I uh, ended up uh, talking with this homeless guy for quite a while. It seems like he still has hope, but he's, he's getting to this point where he's just kind of giving up. And so I just decided to, to stop a second and to, you know, encourage him. So I just gave him a few words of encouragement before I left. And I've been there before. I've been down on my luck. I've been homeless. And uh, it's not fun and it's not easy so I figured if he knew that somebody believed in him maybe he'll pick himself up and, and start over so I don't know just thought I would share that so I don't know if you can see that behind me the white the white spots that's snow and uh, I'm going so high up in the mountains that I'm not sure uh, if I have enough clothing. <laughs> I figured it was summertime, but up here in the mountains it's a little chilly. So hopefully it doesn't get too cold because yeah, definitely still snow up here. It's kind of crazy feeling. You know, coming from from flat land to mountain tops. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, snow. Crazy. So I just found out that I'm at 6,600 feet. But we also just came down probably good 2,000 feet. It's pretty awesome around here. Very, very beautiful. We're almost there. 
So hopefully we'll start our next adventure soon. So I haven't talked to her about being on camera yet. Um, so I don't know if I will be vlogging too much more of this, but I will surely be sharing some photos with you and definitely a little bit of the location. So um, let me get in, let me chat with them, my model, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty excited. This location is going to be pretty cool. So let's get in and meet her. What's up? We made the trip, and here... This is Maggie. Hello. Hopefully she's in frame. She's uh, the one we're going to be photographing later. And I guess it's the waterfall we're going to be going to is over in this direction. If you can see, I'm sure you can see those mountains, but <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go check out a uh, riverside right now. And where is that? It's up here. We're going this way. Straight through. Yep. So we're going straight through here. Straight through. So let's get on over there and check this out. Oh. It's my yard. <laughs> yeah? Totally jealous. <laughs> so bright. Hello everyone guys. Hello everyone. I like it. It's my spicy chicken sandwich, but my microphone's backwards. So they can't even hear me very well. <laughs> <laughs> but we are at a local dive bar. We call it a dive bar. Sun pies. Sun pies. She says it's the best place to eat, so we're gonna eat this up before we go hiking and go to that uh, photo shoot we're gonna be doing later. Plus the sun's <laughs> too high anyways, and the photos would be, yeah, they'd be just way too bright. So we're just gonna chill out and have a little bit of fun. And then later, we're gonna kill it. Woo! <laughs> Is that wind or is that a river? Oh, that's a river. Yeah. Oh, so excited to shoot here. You have no clue. Oh, that's steep. This is rushing a little bit more than what I thought. What I thought too, yeah. Because um, originally I thought that we could do like, this area, but... I don't want to search and rescue <laughs> either. Um. Are you comfortable with that? Kids are like, oh my gosh. <laughs> as long as you feel I comfortable. Mean, I'm down. <laughs> Alright, let's take a few shots then. It's actually quite up here. Yeah? Alright, we'll be right back. I'm gonna take a few shots and then we'll go from there. But I need to use this camera to do it, so shutting you off. So as we were doing the time lapse of the waterfall, she was letting me know that we have to get out of there because mountain lions are known to be around that area. So seeing a mountain lion for the first time in the wild two nights before that, that I didn't tell you about, which was crazy. When you see a huge cat just run out in the middle of the road when in Wisconsin we just see deer, it's, yeah, that's weird. It's weird and it's crazy. And it's weird to think if I were, was out there, I may get attacked by him. So taking precautions. Uh, as the light was going down, the light, the sun, the, as the sun was going down, we uh, we got out of there and instead we went to a local bar to 
to get some more dinner. So, to get some more dinner. I know we went to a bar. Yeah, whatever. I, whatever, you know? People screw up. Things happen. Whatever. I need more coffee before I talk to you. So, anyways. We got out of there. Got some dinner. I got home. And then I made another stop. So, I stopped here because when you're three hours in the mountains and you can see the, the Milky Way as clear as day, you have to stop. You have to stop. You have to take a picture. You have to do something. I mean, I make media for a living. I had to stop. Uh, there's like no light pollution up there at all. It was so beautiful, but it was already so late and I still had like a few hours to drive and it was just... It was too good to pass up, so I pulled over the side of the road at a, at a nice, safe pullover spot because there's not a lot of good places to pull over up there in the mountains, so you got to find a good, safe spot. Um, and then I went for it. I shot about nine photos, and then I got out of there. So I did shoot it. I didn't stay long. I really wanted to get a time lapse. It would have been awesome. But yeah, I got what I got, and that was it. So if you can... Subscribe, like, comment, share, all of that because it really helps us little artists out. So, we'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.